Okay, here is a little art journaling quick tip. If you have leftover paint like I do sitting on my table from doing the latest um, edition of a page for my creative year, which I can't share yet, um, you don't want to, you know, most of us are like, okay, well, we don't really throw that away, right? You want to use it on your, on um, something. So start, this is just a scrap piece of paper and you could do it on this and you could just, what I've been doing is adding layers to this until it's interesting and then I'll either turn it into a junk journal or use it for uh, collage paper or collage bits on another page. Um, and while I have the stencils or whatever out that I was using, I will take that leftover paint and a piece of junk paper. It could also be a piece of deli paper. Um, it could be anything and I will take that leftover paint and I will use it up on a random scrap of paper. I always have these like random scraps of paper hanging around. Sometimes it's a magazine page, um, sometimes it's tissue paper, and sometimes I don't bother with a stencil brush at all. And I just take a makeup sponge or a baby wipe. And I don't even try to keep the colors that are on the palette separate. I just start stenciling until I'm done. And sometimes I need two pieces of paper. So the nice thing about if you use a deli paper is that it makes interesting collage paper. And when you use it later um, for collage, the background image is going, the background paper is usually virtually disappears and it's certainly cheaper than buying fancy tissue paper to do your collage with. It's nicer to have your own and this is one of my um, stencils. This is a small version of one of my wave stencils. Um, some of my stencils are available in a large size, 6x6, six six, and some are available for two a stencil. And this is one of the ones that was on a for two a stencil. And I just cut it apart so I could use, use it this way. And I, it was it's easy to travel with. So it's just a quick tip for you. To do. There you go. And just keep doing it until your little dish is like got no more paint on it or you've just run out. So there's a little art journaling quick tip. Just think about doing something like that to make your own deli paper and your own collage paper, your own interesting junk journal bits that doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't have to be neat. But at some point, that's going to make an interesting journal page or it's going to make an interesting element on something else. You could doodle around these after the paint dries. It really does something really interesting. In fact, I did something like that in this little address book that I'm using as an art journal. And I had a page that just had some of this wipe off paint on it, just like we did here. And the other day, all I did was I took a white gel pen and I doodled around the images and then I added a, a words. One of my favorite journal pages, super easy. So that's my our journaling quick tip, all right? Use up that leftover paint, have fun with it and don't think so much. That's it for right now. Leave any questions, comments or concerns in the video just uh, below, it, below the video in the comments section. If you ha I wanna find me on any other social media or anything, click my link tree link in the video description. You'll find me everywhere I am on the internet. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit that little bell um, icon if you wanna be notified of new videos when they come out. The most important thing is to go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye guys. Thank you.